Hey, 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 guys, how's it going? This is Alejandro. Welcome on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. How are you doing, Marcela, Gladys, Allison? How are you doing today, girls? Fine, thank you. How are you? Still alive, and that's better than nothing. How was your weekend, girls? A little tired. Did you have to work? Mm, no, I... <laughs> I had a birthday, so now we have these Zoom parties that, it, that they are super long, so. Zoom party. Yes, it's that a is thing new, now. That is new yeah. to me. Would you mind sharing? What's that? How was the experience? <laughs> I, I, I already had um, like, yeah, like five or more like Zoom parties. Um, you cannot celebrate anymore with, with your friends. So you make a, a Zoom re reunion and then all the people connect, log in, and you can like just be chatting or you can play some games online. Nice. It's what it is. It what is. you have. It is what it is. Yeah. Interesting. Guys, have you ever heard about Zoom parties? No. No? Have you, well, <laughs> if you haven't heard, you haven't been there. What, what do you think about Zoom parties? Marcela has been in a couple. I've never been into one. What do you think about Zoom parties? Mm. Maybe it's interesting. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. Some parties may be a little bit, you know, interesting. You're tired too. Yeah, because they, you gotta be. Yes. All yes, right. and and they can extend the time. Um, how do you say that? It's okay. That they can. They can. can be... They can take hours. They can take yes. hours, or they can because, take a long time. Uh -huh. Yes, because you don't have, uh, or say, um, it's not in the night and you have to get safe or the traffic or mm -hmm. also, you, you don't have those things now you're in your house and you can um you can be online the time you want so, okay very interesting very very mm -hmm. interesting <laughs> all righty thank you very much for sharing that that's new to most of us so thanks it's something new in our lives mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys. So as you already know, uh, this is a new week. This is the last week. So try to be on time. Try to remember minutes count. Congratulations on the on the work that you've been doing on the on the platform. It's almost flawless. Most of you have done almost everything with a hundred ninety fives. So congratulations on the work done on the platform. I gotta tell you that. Now, as you know, we always do a quick review. What was Friday's topic? Hello, Celia, and hello, Aldo, by the way. Thank you for being on time. Hello. How are you doing? Still Hi. Alive. Sorry. <laughs> I'm on mute because he's my little cousin and he's making noise. A lot of noise. <laughs> okay. That, that's, <laughs> that's why. Uh, whenever ch uh, children are nosy, it's because they are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, my dear fellas, uh, what do you remember about Mondays? about Monday, about Friday's class. Friday. Uh-huh. We talk about uh, indefinite pronouns. Yeah. Indefinite pronouns. That's right. Who can tell me more information about indefinite pronouns? What, what is that? We use them when we are not specifying who we are talking about. Exactly. We use them when we are not specifying who we are talking about. Would you mind giving me some examples? Everything. Everything. Let's work with examples with every. every. Everyone. Everything. Everyone. Everyone. Everywhere. 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 Everybody, that's right. We can always mix them. What else? So we have every. What else can we mix it with? Any. Any. Okay. So any for place. 
Anywhere? Anywhere? People? Anywhere. Anybody? Anywhere. Anybody or? Anyone? Anyone. 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 Things? Anything. Okay. okay. Excellent. So we already work with every and any. What else? Some. 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 Mm -hmm. For place? Some. Something. Somewhere. Uh, for place? So, uh, somewhere. somewhere. For things? Somewhere. Something. Something. Something for people. Somebody. 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 One. Somebody or someone. That's right. And the next one, the last one of the four categories. No. 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 Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> so, for place. Nowhere. Nowhere. Nothing. For things. Oh, nothing. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. for people. Mm -hmm. Nobody. 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 Nobody and no one. And no one. Great. Now, can we use them as subjects, guys? Yes. 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 Who can give me an example? With just choose. Um, somebody. Uh huh. Taking a nap on the room. Somebody's taking a nap. Okay, yes. great. I like it. Just make sure that you say in the room because if you say on, um, right? Somebody's okay. taking a nap in the room. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, can we use it as an object, part of the complement? Mm -hmm. I'm not frozen. I'm just waiting for someone to give me the answer. Yeah. Can you repeat the question, please? Get, yes, of course. Can we use the indefinite pronouns as objects, as part of the complement? The yes. dog follows me everywhere I go. Ahí está. The dog follows me everywhere I go. Nice example. All right, guys. So before we move forward to today's topic, do you have any question, any doubt, comment? Uh, I have a question, mm -hmm. teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, what did you say when we can, what, what was the indefinite pronoun that we can make the double ne negative? Ah, uh, with no. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So nothing. I can't, uh, she can't have nothing? Exactly. That'll be the double negative so she can't have nothing we have two negatives how do we fix them do you guys remember she can she can have nothing mm, that's enough that's the novel the double negative you will hear maybe. it guys that if you maybe watch movies she have nothing she can't have anything oh mm -hmm. anything. she can't doesn't it anything? Oh, uh -huh. you see the you see the can. Uh huh. I'm gonna write it down so you can. This this topic is actually coming. Well, it is definitely covered, but I can't remember if it's in the a future, a future module or in a past module. So that's why I'm gonna tell you this uh, real quick. She can't have nothing. I wrote it down in the chat. Ella no puede tener nada. So you will hear this in, in English, you will hear it in movies, you will hear it in songs, but it's not grammatically correct, all right? It is accepted, people will understand you, but it's not grammatically correct. So how do you fix it? You change no for any. She can't have anything. anything. And that's it, it's fixed. So, uh, if I tell you, don't tell nobody, how do we fix it? Okay. Don't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. Don't okay. tell anybody. Correct. I want to travel nowhere. I won't travel anywhere. Anywhere? That's it. I won't travel anywhere. I am... I am not telling, I'm not telling no one. 
I'm not telling anyone. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling anyone. anyone. So guys, this is a quick class of on how to fix double negatives. And remember, you're going to change the indefinite pronoun. Eso es muy importante, guys. Van a cambiar el indefinite pronoun porque no van a poner she, any, can't, have, nothing. No existe. Right? Uh, so, you're going to be working with the indefinite pronoun. Questions? I love to ask this question. It's like dead silence. I love it. The best. So, guys, how do you say um, no tomes nada? Don't drink anything. Don't drink anything. Don't drink anything. That's right. Um, no vayas a ningún lado. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Exactly. No hagas nada. Don't do, Don't do anything. anything. Ahí está. And this is the way on how you can avoid or fix double negatives. Any questions with this topic? No. Gladys, did I answer your question? Yes. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Excellent. I, I'm very happy that you asked, guys. Right? If I don't know the answer at the moment, I'm just going to have to do some research. But if I do, I'll go ahead and help you out. So let's go ahead and start with uh, today's topic. I think that one is completely clear. So go ahead and say it with me, please. I will be able to. I will be able to. Two. 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 Explotadito. Two. 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 Com compare the characteristics of e-commerce worldwide. Compare the characteristics of e-commerce worldwide. To its characteristics in the national market. Very good. So, guys, what is the meaning of e commerce? E mobile commerce, when you use your phone to, to make your business? Online business. Almost, almost there. So, a little, a single letter can actually change a whole concept. concept. For example, e commerce is online, right? Electronica. Mm -hmm. Electronic, mm -hmm. right. And oh, yeah. M commerce is what Aldo was saying. Mobile commerce. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, now, they use mobile. Only with mobiles, that's right. It is always part of e-commerce, mm -hmm. right? It's just more specific. Does mm -hmm. Siman have a website? Yes. Do they have an app? I don't know. I don't know. Did you... Well, honestly, I don't know either. <laughs> That's why I was asking. But my, uh, oh yeah, they, my, my girl says they do. My girl says they do have an app, so I believe her. <laughs> McDonald's has an app. That's right. Now I have a web page. Exactly. So you have web page and apps. With something is very different. You can mm -hmm. open your browser on your phones. And you can use the internet to visit a website, right? But it is yeah. very difficult in order for you to have an application. Not all of them have it. So what yeah. businesses can you name that they use e-commerce? Banks. 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 Uh -huh. What else? Uh, Restaurants. The airlines. Restaurants, airlines. I don't know if it counts these Uber, Uber Eats applications. Yeah, they do. It is commerce. They are selling yeah. something. They are receiving profit. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to be discussing today. I'm going to try to keep it entertained. So please go ahead and read it with me. How important is it for businesses to have an app, to have an app altogether? How important is it is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? That allows online purchases. Now repeat after me, please, after I finish. How important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? Go. How important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? Are smartphones 
the future of online commerce the future uh, of the future of online no. now let me tell you something guys of it is actually pronounced with b as in victor not f so it must vibrate you go here of of and oh. if you have a vowel after it, you're going to link it. So, oh, eh, oh. la F, señores, tiene la misma posición de la boca que la B chica. ¿Ok? Obvio. Right? Ofensa. In English and Spanish. So, in English, you, I would recommend you to make it vibrate oh. with of. Oh. Of. And if you have a vowel, oh. you're going to link it. Of online. Of online. Of so, online. Let me finish and then it's your turn. Are smartphones the future of online commerce? Rising intonation. Go. Are smartphones the future of online commerce? Commerce. Commerce. Great. 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 Great Give your most sincere and honest opinion. All right, I got a question go. before. Go ahead, sir. Uh, for the pronunciation about businesses and the other word that we were saying, we were seeing. Which one? Ah, uh, uh, let me let me see the. the purchases. Oh, businesses and purchases, we have to make the same vibration at the end? Mm -hmm. That's right. We do. Okay. Remember, the reason is because they finish in or air out of your mouth. Purchase, purchases, so you make it vibrate. Business, businesses. So, yes, very good question. Now, that's one of the things that I recommend you guys to do. If you want to learn pronunciation, what you have to do is learn it in groups so you can identify patterns like purchase business. And then you do the same ending sounds on all of the words. If you really want to learn vocabulary, learn them either with, um, for example, good and bad. So do it in pairs in, uh, uh, I don't know, tall, short, black, white okay or you can actually change it in sounds that's going to help you a lot good thing any other question oh. i love it you see it's always the same thing i love it okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and accept the invite guys i'm going to be visiting you we're going to have about five minutes go 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 questions are in the chat go, 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 go. questions are in the chat What, what? what? What did you say, Daniel? What are we doing? Hi, teacher. What are we doing? Que right barbaro. now? Here. Que In barbaro. the class. Y les, pre y les pregunto. ¿Tienen preguntas? Nele, y todos callados. No, ni una, ni una. <laughs> Qué barbaro. <laughs> Demole, so you're going to be answering the questions on the book. Giving your opinion. I already shared the, the questions. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you, Gladys. Here, the okay. question is how important it is for businesses to have an app to allow online purchases. Purchase? Purchases. Mm -hmm. purchases. What is allowed, teacher? Um, to permit. Pro permitir. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Allow is permitir. Okay, same teacher. Uh -huh. Important. Oh, important. It's very important, I think. <laughs> Why? Come on, give your opinion. Remember, yeah. we're Salvadorian. Yeah. Sometimes we talk yeah. about it and even know. So just like a Salvadorian, <laughs> I don't know very much about this, but I think that is very important. 
this is more easy this is more easy purchase on, on easier uh, easier uh -huh. purchase on app uh, don't don't go at the at the store for example uh, there's the home there's the my my from from home from home from home i can't purchase any products uh, easily easily there you go nice daniel so guys let me ask you something can i see your notebooks what can i see your notebooks you... where you take notes here oh yes aha uh -huh. okay here look nice okay got it just double checking <laughs> keep it up give your opinion we have a couple of more minutes okay <laughs> so it is very important now and in the future it will be maybe even more important than than in this moment because we don't know how it's the, how this pandemic is going to uh, grow or develop <clears throat> yeah you're right in this one ernesto uh, i was i was actually waiting for more because your intonation was up or develop so because you finished that way i was actually waiting for some more information so or develop Right. So okay. whatever you do, if you finish your idea, you got to go down in speech so the listener can understand that you already finished your idea. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep it up, guys. We're going to be back okay. in a couple of minutes. Like important information, I think that it's better than app. So I think that to have an app is important, but it depends on the kind of business that, that the, I mean, people is developing. Yeah, Hi. <laughs> to, to have both. In my case, uh, my children enjoy enjoy McDonald's app because of the coupons. Coupons. Oh. <laughs> Q, Q, coupons. Coupons. In my case, I only have uh, the bank app, but uh, not with food. Uh, with food, I already use Pollo Campero. I think that they have an app. I download uh -huh. it, but then it's like, I didn't use it the time that I I wanted to use it, so then I I deleted from my cell phone. I deleted it. Ah, deleted, deleted it. So sounds like deleted it. Deleted it uh -huh. from my cell phone. Yes. So that's why I think that it it depends of the business, the importance to have. A, yeah, I agree with you, Celia. To have an app. It because depends, also with it depends on it depends on the business mm -hmm. <laughs> because i think that maybe for some people can be like uh i don't know how to say that tedioso how do you say tedioso in English? tedious 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 difficult oh maybe i think but did that with some People can be difficult to mm -hmm. download an app and, and use it. Especially elderly. As, yeah, especially older people. And also if they, as I mentioned before, if we are not going to use it like every certain time, it's, it's like just wasting. Tranquilize. Uh, not good to rest. Uh, I'm not sure. Yes. Maybe. Yeah, but the, the, the ones for the brains are supposedly to you to take them in the morning because they make you more active. Mm -hmm. But I'm still having headaches all the time. They're not working. No. <laughs> mm, interesting. Yes. Okay. Uh, at least you were keeping it in English. <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course. Nice. All right, very good. So if we're already finished, girls, we're gonna go back, all right? Okay. All right, guys, so thank you very much for coming back. In about 14 seconds, the rest of the people is gonna be back. Give me a second. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, so we are back. I'm just gonna have, uh, you know, two volunteers. So um, if you wanna move it, and if you don't, you still gotta move it. The last person who shows me a sandal is gonna pass. It's gonna give me your opinion, sandal, sandal, sandal. Oh, I know somebody's at work, so he's gonna be, aha, uh -huh, I got it, got it saved, saved. Sandals, say <laughs> la chancla, saved, that's right. Okay, so I think I already have Ernesto, I'm sorry that you're at work. Okay, I, it was not my intention. So I'm Ernesto really. is gonna answer one question and then Aldo is gonna answer the other one because you know, you were the last one showing la chancla. Okay. <laughs> All right. Flip flop. <laughs> flip flop. Flip flop, sandals. So, how important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? I think it is important for business to have an app that allows online purchase because that makes uh, easier the process of buying something mm -hmm. and makes cheaper also as well. That, uh, that process. For example, we have the application of Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to order a pizza, you just open your the application and select the pizza that you want. And it's cheaper because you don't need to call the, the customer service and ask and spend your cash in those small in those minutes that you talk through the phone. So it's cheaper and it's easier. Okay, thank you very much. Do you guys agree on Ernesto's opinion? Yes, I agree. Yeah, I, yes, agree. I, agree. I agree too. All right. Now, there's something that is not really, um, not really here, but I wanna ask you a question. He already mentioned the advantages. What about the disadvantages? This question was not there. So what do you think are the, what do you think the disadvantages are about M-commerce? The disadvantages could be that you, you need to put your personal information in your mobile phone or your cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, and that can let the thief uh, or access to your personal information or data and robar, uh, como se decía. Guys? Oh, right. Still. Still. Mm -hmm. You are still. right, JC, but it stole is the past. So we got still, ah, okay. stole, and the past participle, stolen. Stolen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks to you guys. So, what do you, what, is there any other disadvantage? Do you think that most. Yeah. Need a data. <laughs> you need data. Uh -huh. You need data. <laughs> Not use a Wi-Fi, a public Wi-Fi. <laughs> you don't have to use public Wi-Fi, especially when making payments. So the maybe, you... the, the thing, maybe for some people can be difficult to use. Like what kind of people? <laughs> uh, we're older, talking about like social... older ah. people can be a little bit difficult. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because we see guys that, yes, I know that there are areas without electricity and with the, the, the basic needs, but what? Many people have, have a phone, mm -hmm. right? Many people have internet connection, at least yeah. for a few minutes, right? But the, it is very accessible now. Do you think the internet should be provided like um, a right, a human right? like water, electricity? It should be. I don't understand. Do you think that that should be a ride? Like for example, we have ANDA, they offer beautiful and very efficient service to the whole country, <laughs> yeah, right? Good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We have electric electricity. Everybody is mm -hmm. supposed to have electricity and water. Things that the, mm -hmm. that the government should provide. What do you think about the internet? Do you think that is a need? Creen que es una necesidad? For, for, our, yes. for our country, we need water. <laughs> we need water more than internet. <clears throat> I agree. I agree. For our country. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, in in the case that we are right now in the middle of a pandemic, that we can't go anywhere, and our our kids can go to the school, it's uh, it's very important to have internet because through that they they get, they receive the the class, they can send the homeworks, or even they can make the the exams. So for now we nowadays we are we are watching that we need internet in our house in our, in our houses so in our houses so for me that must be a right to okay like i said guys we're just giving opinion thank you very much aldo or roxana does anybody else have an opinion i i would like to give an example mm -hmm. i don't know maybe you have heard about the project the Elon Musk project that is related to send some uh, Earth to satellites, satellites, satellites uh -huh. to the space and make a like a, a big network and uh, to provide internet to all the world for free. So that's a very interesting project. They have to send. They have. Well, he has to send like one thousand satellites. For in order to complete this mission, but mm -hmm. it will be very interesting to have internet for free in all the world. In nice, I like your, I like that. I like everything that everything you said. It is just focus on the whole world. Oh, the, the whole. whole. The whole is like un total de algo. The whole world. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. I liked it. I, I like your your point of view. Okay, so um, one more person that wants to give an opinion about this or a comment. I'm not frozen, I'm waiting. Mm, okay, so let's go ahead and move forward. If you don't wanna participate, I'm not gonna make you do it. Don't worry about it, <clears throat> even though you should. So let's go ahead and move here, guys. Please read with me. Elsa wants to purchase a book online. Elsa, Elsa wants, to wants to purchase a book online. online. But she's having trouble to check out. But she's, but she's having trouble to check out. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it with a partner. Read the conversation and take turns with the partner. So let's go ahead and read it all. Wait for me to finish. Pay attention to the commas, the periods, and the pauses I'm making. Also intonation. Elsa wants to purchase a book online, but she's having trouble check to check out. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it with a partner. Go, please. Elsa wants to purchase the book online. Read the conversation and take turns practicing with a partner. Come on, finish, Aldo. Don't worry. If everybody finished already, you just read the conversation and take turns practicing with a partner. Okay, great. Alex is trying to purchase a book from the App Store. But I'm not sure I'm getting this right. But I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure I'm getting, getting this right. right. I said it wrong, right? I actually made a mistake. My apologies. Alex, comma. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Go, please. Let me see. Well, let me see. It seems the credit card number is already typed in. Go. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in. Uh huh. Now. Um, guys, with D and T, remember, whenever we finish a sound in T or D, it's going to be a health sound. Es un sonido sostenido, so we're going to say type tin. 
como que le cae Ay. encima la N Ay, y ahí mismo, su, ahí mismo sale. Ay. Type in. But you need to add your home address to your account. But you need to add your home address to your account. Now, this is another link, guys. Remember that the E is not pronounced, so we're going to go home, home address. 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 To your account. 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 Your account. Uh huh. Or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Now, let me go ahead and finish because after this, I'm going to have a volunteer in quotations. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Go, please. <clears throat> Okay, now don't cheat, okay? If you have your, your, your book with you, don't cheat. <clears throat> Just go ahead and repeat. Everything you said, the way you say it. Let me see. Let, let me see. see. Let me see. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in. Uh huh. But you need to add your home address to your account. You need to add your home address in your account. Or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Is it difficult to you, for you to follow? Yeah. To remember the phrase. Uh -huh. <laughs> remember. The <laughs> and you already read. Now let's go ahead and do it with something different. Do I have to do it twice? Do I have to, have I have to do it twice? twice? I remember entering my home address before. I remember, I remember, I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. This is so, so, complicated. so complicated. Forget about it. Forget about, Forget it. about, Forget it. about, about it. it. I better go to the books. I better ah. go to Okay, so blah, let's go ahead. That is, okay. a, that is a new language that I am teaching. All right. I better go to the bookstore and get a physical copy. I better go to a bookstore and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. That's good, good, I guess. guess. I like it. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for end users. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, you gotta try. You gotta try. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. <laughs> okay, one more time. Now, the thing is, these guys, there is no stop in this sentence, so I have to say it completely. One more time. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. It seems like developers may check out too complicated for the end users. <laughs> okay, don't cheat. I will leave some feedback in their website. I will leave some what? feedback on the website. Feedback on the website. Aha, okay. So, this is one way that you can improve your listening skills, guys. It is difficult at the beginning, but then we practice, I promise you will improve. So, let's go ahead and read it here. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers That's... may check out too complicated for end users. Mm -hmm. I will leave some feedback on their website. 
Pronunciation U E D B Web Web Tipo web, huevo, pero con B grande dice la O. Web. 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 Site. 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 Website. 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 Okay, very good. So, let's go ahead and do it one more time, but this time I'm not going to do it. I need volunteers. Let me see. Ernesto, thank you for raising your hand. Uh, yeah, I know it's your picture. Karen, thank you. You're next. Marcela, thank you. And Andrea, thank you. In the same order, go. So, Ernesto, Karen, Marcela, Alec, eh, Andrea, go, please. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Nice. Uh, let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Uh -huh. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. Okay. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Nice, great guys. It is going to be on their website, <clears throat> okay, on their website. So, um, a recommendation that I can give you, my dear friends, is that Spanish or Salvadorians speak with rising intonation. And that's why sometimes Americans, yes, there's a big debate. North Americans, the people from the United States, but they are called Americans, do not understand us. And that's because of our intonation, okay? Very good. So, um, I have a question, guys. What is Elsa trying to do? She's trying to, to, buy, to, uh, to buy a book in the App Store. Absolutely. She's trying to buy a book in the App Store. That's right. What is the problem with the purchase? She couldn't, she can't, she can't make it out. She can't check out. Okay. And what is Elsa going to do? She's going help. to go to the bookshop. Yeah. She's going to go to the bookstore. That's right. Or the bookshop. Either or. Now, what does the eShop need to do to make their software more user-friendly? What do you think companies need to do for people to be able to use their app? This is an open question. Um, maybe less... Um... I don't know how to say less things to. Oh, um, I love that. <laughs> love that one. Uh huh. Le less verification steps. Maybe. Okay. So we got, mm -hmm. and I, I'm just paraphrasing what you said. Less, less things, right? Less verification. Steps. Steps. Anything else? Like friendly language, maybe? Like friendly uh, not, language. Not, not to technical concepts. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that one. Any last opinion? Okay, so hey, it's Monday, guys, but it's the last Monday of your module. So we gotta keep a high energy. Okay, otherwise, I think that you would rather being, at, being in bed, but you're not. So let's go ahead and show that attitude. Ya están aquí. I'm not going to say that because I don't want to get in trouble. So let me tell you guys, what do you think is the difference between less versus fewer? Uh, less is like water is something uncountable and fewer is something that you can count. Mm -hmm. You got it right. Less is for uncountable, fewer is for countable nouns. 
car carnival. So, car carnival. how are we going to say menos pasos? Few steps. Fewer steps. Fewer. Fewer. Why? Because we are Fewer. comparing. Estamos comparando y por eso le metemos el ER. Fewer steps. Great. You see, I'm not going to be tired. I'm not going to get tired of telling you this, even though Sara is going to swallow us. But the more you practice, the more mistakes you make, the more you learn. Okay? <coughs> Got it. It's not because I, I want to make your life living hell. It's because I want you to improve. So let's go ahead and work a little bit with the vocabulary, guys, because pretty much the whole class is going to be about um, it's going to be about this. Okay, you're going to have to produce something at the end. Now let me go ahead and share something with you real quick. Give me a second. I have it ready. Just a moment. Mm, give me a second. I'm having technical issues. I'll be right back. Which one you recommended, Andrea? Acer? I might take your recommendation. Just a moment. Mm, give me a second, guys. Just a couple of seconds. In the meantime, so you stay all quiet, I wanted to please as a group give your opinion about what would be the characteristics of M-commerce um, in the national and international market. So what do you think is the difference in other countries and apps in El Salvador? In the meantime, I'll be right uh, back. I, I wanna hear you sharing with each other. Give me a second. Okay. But you know, I mean, you can say it. <laughs> this is why I fixed the technical issue. Come on, I need to hear you talk. Uh, can we talk in this moment? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I guess that one is, I don't know, how do you say? Much um, facile de usar in website. Easy. Because my, right. e easier, but uh, I guess I, thought that it could be a, a, a technical word, but easier, okay. <laughs> yes, um, easier. My my cousin uh, sent me something of the supermarket and she sent me that- She told uh, me? Uh, that she told me, sorry, she told me that, uh, Super Selectos app is really bad because she she couldn't find something some product because it's a mess. She said that she said to me, I guess <laughs> that this word this word is a mess because it it is in it is in. Uh, Come on, you can you can do it. Uh, Just let it go. I don't know. It is in a, a Easter, a Easter app. How do you say she, amigable el usuario, o fácil de usar para el usuario? Yes, that's true. I don't know. Uh -huh. I forget. I want to for the user to use. Friendly. User friendly. There user you go. Friendly. Okay. And, and she said, she told me that the app to walmart and other uh stores on us they are really friendly friendly user friendly uh -huh. and this app it is and, and, this, I, and, this... and I told uh -huh. her sorry and i told her that super selectos uh hasn't uh doesn't have doesn't have a app to buy before Oh, in that case, if it's in the past, Luis, what do we use, guys? Okay, lo hicieron a la carrera y mal. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, oh, that's a beautiful, 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 beautiful opportunity to use this. So they cut <laughs> corners. That what Sara said, it that is corner. to cut corners. It is an idiom. 
So this is actually when something is done poorly or not in good condition. So guys, when you learn English, I don't recommend you to cut corners. Now, you wouldn't cut corners building your house, would you? Exactly. Uh -huh. You may continue, Sarah. I, I like these opportunities to give you vocabulary. Oh, that's, that, that's everything. That's <laughs> everything. Okay, okay. Good. Um, any comment to this one, guys? No? Mm -hmm. oh, I love, how, well, I'm, I'm being a little bit sarcastic, but I love <laughs> that you are very quiet today. But anyways, now let's go ahead and try to create a, uh, a definition, but based on something that I'm going to show you right now. Hmm. And like I said, um, here it is. Let's go ahead and pay attention to this quick video that we have. This video is also on the PDF file, okay? So I'm not coming up with this. You have it on your book. Let's pay attention to it, please. People like things nice and simple, right? Like the convenience of being able to pay or be paid for goods and services provided over the internet. But what if you don't have a bank account? That would mean a majority of the people in the world not having access to easier and safer transactions. But guess what? Some 1.7 billion of these people do have access to a mobile phone. So how can that help them avoid the risk and inconvenience of using cash? Well, that's where e-commerce comes in. M-commerce enables people to conduct financial transactions using a mobile device like a cell phone or a tablet. The phone becomes a kind of a mobile wallet, but it's not just for pocket money. It can give you access to bank accounts, credit and access cards, loyalty cards, coupons, and it allows you to transfer money anytime, anywhere. Pay attention so this to those benefits. a world of new services for just about everyone from those that don't have a bank account to those that do but would like the freedom to take their finances truly mobile. The Ericsson Wallet platform, for example, enables secure and convenient mobile financial services such as money transfers and making payments. And using Ericsson Converged Wallet, there are 1.7 billion mobile accounts connected to Ericsson's charging system that could easily be turned into mobile wallets. 2012 meant a big step for M Commerce as Ericsson and Western Union formed a strategic alliance. Mobile network operators can now offer their subscribers the world's largest money transfer network. And we're talking a lot of money. $350 billion are transferred annually, person to person, over mobile devices. And the ecosystem to support M Commerce is growing rapidly. Eric's how much money is it being moved, guys? 350 billions. 350 billion. Okay. Billion, billion, billion. Ericsson's M Commerce Interconnect is a technology that will allow interoperability between operators and service providers, such as banks, stores, and payment networks. So it's exciting times for the M commerce industry, which is expected to process more than 800 billion US dollars by 2016. And with a world of 50 billion connected devices expected by 2020, the implications and possibilities for how we manage and use our money are profound. Guys, how many people should be connected? Up? Um, I should know if I by, by 2020. Well, well, it's more than 800 billion people. I'm not sure. 50. 50 billion. It should be connected with mobile apps by 2020. So by this year, by this beautiful and peaceful 2020. So now, um, something that I want. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Something that I want to share with you guys is the following. I am hearing that you guys are saying billions and millions, which that's not really the way it's done in English, okay? Now you're gonna say eight 
or 50 in this context, billion people. So the plural is gonna be with whatever you are counting, not with the billion like in Spanish. We would say dos billones, tres millones de personas. So that's gonna be like double plural, but in English it's not like that. You can say 20 million dollars. So how do you say 20 million de dollars? Can I say 20 million dollars? No. No. So the plural is gonna be the noun that you are counting because numbers can be used as adjectives, okay? Any questions on this one? I love yeah. that. I love that. I love this. Good. Okay, very good. So <laughs> then <laughs> we're going to make a last thing here. I'm going to share something with you guys, which is the last one. This is a one minute video about the impact it is having. It actually complements the other one. And with this, we finish with the videos. Here it is. I know you're not watching anything guys, it got stuck again, my apologies. I was like, uh -huh. I should do this. It's first. Change of plans, guys. <laughs> Because, you know, my apologies. Didn't work. So change of plans. Um, pretty much, this is actually making like a forecast. You know what is the meaning of forecast? Yes. Yes. No. Who, who actually gives forecasts here? Prediction. Mm -hmm. Meteorological people. Exactly. For example, what is the name of this dude that is very famous for the weather? Moisés Urbina. Moisés Urbina. So he's part of the, the, the weather forecast. So the video pretty much is talking about the forecast on how many people is going to be using mobile apps. It was a compliment on previous videos. So how many people were there supposed to be connected to mobile apps by 2020? 50 billion. 50 billion. 50 billion. Wait, wait, 50 billions or 50 billion? Billion. Billion. There you go. 50 billion. Okay, so we're gonna, I know that you really wanna talk about it, so let me go ahead and take attendance so then we can work on it. Here, Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera. No? Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Here. See you. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. No? Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. Okay, thank you. Gladys Idalia Melendez Hernandez. Gladys. Okay, now, por motivos de verificación, Gladys sí estaba acá, estuvo participando, pero como sabemos, su internet es algo inestable y en estos momentos no está. Aldo Sade Castro Pleites. Present. Thank you, sir. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. I see you. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Okay, I see you, sir. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Amy, not here. David Orlando Nerio. David, not here. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. I see you. 
Roxana Domitilia Ríos de Quiñones. Present. Got it. Thank you. Juan Carlos García Laínez. Present. Thank you, sir. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino. Present. Yeah, there you are. Hope you feel better, girl. Thank you for being here. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Present. Okay, I see you. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. See you. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Celia Carmina Pineda Ábalos. Present. See you, Celia. Karen Elin García Benítez. Present. There you are. And Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. Okay, thank you very much. So guys, as you can see, uh, some people is, is not logging in anymore. The, the only thing that I can tell you is do not let that stop you. So thank you very much for being here. Now, I want to make some uh, announcements. Quiero hacer un par de anuncios, guys, antes que continuemos, y son los siguientes. El día viernes terminamos, ¿ok? Les quiero agradecer que todos están trabajando muy bien con la plataforma. Prácticamente casi todos ya lo llevan al 100, e incluso con cosas que ni hemos visto. Así que, way to go. Kudos, congratulations. Um, and uh, el viernes tenemos que hacer una evaluación. Okay, evaluación del curso, según entiendo, yo también estoy ahí, si quieren denme caña, no sé, lo que ustedes quieran, ahí es ustedes, nadie les va a decir qué poner, All right? pero sí necesito que la hagan conmigo, ok, ¿por qué? Porque este, tienen que meter la información, así como es la website de delicada, así es esto, una letra que esté mal y puede que no se termine el proceso, Mire, pero yo asistí a todas las clases, yo tengo el 80, más del 80% en la plataforma. ¿Qué pasó? La encuesta no terminó de cerrar el módulo. Así que por eso probablemente le llegue el día miércoles. Por favor, no la hagan, no la manden hasta que la hagan conmigo el día viernes. ¿Estamos? Porque solo se le puede dar enviar una vez, solo una. Así que por favor, espérenme con eso. Lo otro es que... Buenas noticias, ya no tienen que quedarse los miércoles. Ok, yo sé que muchos de eso los tenía. ¿Cuál es lo bueno? Que ahora tenemos 10 minutos después de la clase. Ok, así que el que se quiera quedar conmigo, con preguntas, solo puedo aceptar a una persona. Ok, así que hoy necesito una persona, ya sea valiente o que tenga preguntas, que se quede por los últimos 10 minutos. All right. Y para el día de mañana necesito que antes de la clase me manden un mensaje en el grupo. Por favor, yo me quiero quedar hoy. ¿Ok? Así que porfa, sáquenle provecho. A eso, ¿tienen alguna duda? Por favor, quédense. Por favor, quédense. ¿Ok? Ajá, así que por lo menos eh, quédense esos 10 minutos. ¿Estamos? ¿Evaluación? ¿Cuándo es la evaluación? Viernes. Viernes. ¿Cuándo la vamos a mandar? Friday. Viernes. 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 ¿La pueden mandar ustedes solos? No. 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 ¿Tenemos que quedarnos los miércoles? No. no. ¿Se pueden quedar más de 10 minutos después de la clase? Yeah. Oh, no, más de 10. No, no. 10 minutos, ¿ok? No, Se pueden quedar 10 minutos. Así que, ¿me tienen que avisar yeah. antes? Yes. 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 Es imposible con la pregunta si no me agarran en curva y yo sé qué decirle, ¿verdad? aunque no es tan difícil. Para más mis clases de, de adolescentes a veces me agarran en curva y no los adultos. Ok, so guys, let's go ahead and continue right now. And uh, I'm gonna, we're going to continue working with the, with the book. Now, what we're going to do right now is that first, we're not going to be doing this vocabulary right now. I'm just showing you what's coming. But what I need for you to do is to create a definition of M-commerce. Okay? We're going to create a definition of M-commerce as a whole group. Who wants to start? I'm going to write it down in the, chat, in, the, in the chat. A group definition of M-commerce. Okay. 
Okay, I feel that you are a little bit shy, and that's mm -hmm. right. You can do some research, guys. It is 9.07. I'm going to give you approximately three minutes for you to create a definition. I don't need like an encyclopedia definition. I need something complete but easy to understand. Okay? Definition about what? M-commerce. M-commerce. That's right. Are you going to make it long and complicated? No. No. Yeah. So you're going to do easy. it complete. Okay? Commerce on mobile phones. You're totally right. But I need, you know, a little bit more complete but easy. So I'm going to give you three minutes. No more than that. In three minutes, I'll see you here. Please. Three minutes, and I'll see you back here. Definition of M-commerce. Marce, did you get the invite? I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. Okay. All righty, guys, let's go ahead and create it. I know it's not easy, but it's not so difficult either. I, oh, teacher um, Gladys told me that she has uh, is problem issues. Issues, problem? Problem issues is the same. She has issues with? Yeah, so issues with the internet. Yeah, yeah, I know. She always has, and uh, but even though she's trying, so. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Right, come on, let's go ahead and create the definition, guys. Okay. Um... So it came, I couldn't be at the beginning of the class, so I was asking to them uh, what in general, what it really means. So I can understand that like, M-commerce is, what does the M stand for? Girls? M-commerce, I think it's like um um electronic commerce mm, that's e uh, that we need that e-commerce uh, that we need um to use a, a smartphone uh, obviously with internet <laughs> uh, using a platform or a, a, a web page or um so in commerce it might be something like in commerce stand for is for is for mobile for mobile yes yep for mobile yes it is well okay in that case i guess we could say that in commerce it is an um, electronic device used to to make a purchase online with, uh, let's say, uh, how are you doing, girls? Good. We're searching for the definitions. I have another one here. It's easier than the last one. It says that in commerce, it's the buying and selling of goods and services through wireless handheld devices such as smartphones and tablets. Teacher, okay. how do you correctly pronounce handheld? Have held? Handheld? Like that? Uh, go ahead and write it and, down, please. Handheld. Okay, it's handheld. Handheld. No, handheld. Handheld, like that. Handheld is that is portable, that you can actually keep it in your hand. Handheld. Oh, okay. It's a synonym of portable. In, in your hand, though. 
and health. Okay. Okay. Good. Keep it up. We're almost going to go back. I'm going to okay. give you a few more minutes. How are you doing, girls? Good. We already finished, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I'm giving, I'm giving a little bit of time because there are groups that are working very hard. Do you know what is the meaning of handheld? Not exactly. Maybe something that you keep in your hand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, handheld. I'm just sharing what the other, what the other group actually uh, was able to find out. Practice it because you're going to share it. Uh, 9.15, we're going to go back. Teacher, just a, qu a question. I have a question. I, um, I, I sent someone in the chat. Mm. Okay. You said something on the chat. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, answer. And in the meantime, Celia, you had a question, right? Yeah. When we are talking about M commerce and mm -hmm. you said handheld, uh it means that those kind of, um, I mean, this kind of service is only to, I mean, to use it through cell phones or tablets or things that you can keep in your hand or we can consider like PC or something like that. In this case, um, talking about laptops? Yeah, talking about laptops. Well, I think that there's a bit that we are walking. That will on, be more e-commerce. Uh huh. We are work, walking on thin ice here. That's another expression. We are walking on thin ice. It's like delicate, right? Because hey, but a laptop is portable. You can take yeah. it anywhere. It's mobile. Um, but I I think that is more actually headed to laptop. Uh, to, uh, listen to me. To uh, <laughs> cell phones, tablets, handheld devices. Mm -hmm. Now I wanted to and please. Another thing. I want before um, before you say that, I wanted to please share what you just learned about thin ice. We are walking on thin ice with a group. Okay, so and in any of you to 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 walking on what? Aha, uh -huh, you see, <laughs> walking on thin ice, delgado. Oh, okay. And the other thing is, could I take the ten minutes today? Okay. I would like to ask you something, and okay. it's also related to the to the platform. I don't know if I'm make, if I'm making something wrong, but but I can get the the right answer with some exercise. And I'm not sure if I'm typing. I mean, the wrong sentence. Okay. I mean, about a structure, or if it is just a. Platform. Got it, Celia. So you are booked from ten to ten ten. You don't have to disconnect. You just have to stay here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank okay. you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and go back. And Karen, I already answered. Okay? Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. I will try, but... What did you sure. say the expression? <laughs> Walking on thin ice. Oh. All right, let's go back. Alrighty, people is gonna be back in like fifteen seconds. Okay, guys, so we are all back. Before we start with the definition of M commerce, um I don't know if Celia, Andrea or Karen is gonna share something with you. Who's going to share it? The definition, teacher, of e-commerce. No, no, not the definition. The other thing that, that, that I mentioned to you, the idiom. Oh, you tell us an expression mm -hmm. that says, walking on thin ice. Walking on right. thin ice. Uh, thin ice. <laughs> uh -huh. Like it's ice, ice, ice baby. <laughs> Banana, uh, ice. <laughs> So, what is the meaning of walking on thin ice, guys? It means that it's a delicate something subject. Mm -hmm. Something delicate or a subject, a situation. Hey, what do you think about abortion? Whoa, wait, we are walking on thin ice here. You know, 
it's uh, what about what do you think about the accident and you know in the morning and blah blah blah, blah thin ice. All right, great. <laughs> so um, I need a volunteer to share the definition of M commerce, but real quick, guys. Daniel, Roxana, or Sara, what's your definition? Okay. Uh huh. Yes, Daniel, do it, do it, do okay. it, Daniel. Okay. <laughs> okay. Businesses that let companies and people buy and sell things over the internet. No. Say it again. And guys, let's pay attention because I'm going to ask you if you agree, if you disagree, and why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Businesses that let company and people buy and sell things over uh, the internet. Mm -hmm. No. No. You guys agree? Uh, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm asking the public here. <laughs> ¿Qué dice el público? Uh -huh. Using the mobiles. Ah, okay. So do you guys agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. Guys, you're going to make me go deaf. Me van a dejar sordo de tanto que practique. <laughs> participant you, you're gonna make me make me go deaf make me uh -huh. go deaf go blind go mute, mm -hmm. go mute. quedarse no I said I'm gonna stay deaf mm -mm, that's Spanish English go deaf write it go down deaf. let me see your notebooks guys please I have a, I see a lot of people with the cameras off please let me see your notebooks keep them there I want to see where you're taking notes Mm hmm okay thank you thank you uh, andrea what about your notebook i use the block the notas in my computer ah okay got yeah, it okay. uh-huh say by the bell girl say by the bell eric what's up with your notes a digital person yeah <laughs> yeah okay just double checking guys remember not bringing pen and paper is like going to the toilet with no toilet paper. All right, you gotta keep it <laughs> handy. Okay, so um, next definition, Aldo, Ernesto, and Juan. Okay, for us, M-commerce definition will be is the use of, of wireless handheld devices like cell phones and tablets to conduct commercial transactions online, including the purchase and sale of products. Do you guys agree? Yes. Yes. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Okay, great. Very Wikipedia, but I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> Andrea, Celia, and Karen, definition, please. Uh, and, and commerce is commercial transactions through wireless devices. Like a laptop? No. Uh, no. Aha. Uh -huh. So what, what can we That's add? That's walking on thin ice. Aha. Uh -huh. There <laughs> you go. <laughs> there you go. Nice use of the structure. So guys, um, is, is, it a, is a laptop a mobile device? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, laptop. It can be, but I in so. M-commerce, I think that only refers to, to cell phones or tablets. Uh-huh. So what word can Something we use? that you can keep in your hand. Hand uh -huh. handheld. Handheld, handheld, devices. handheld devices. That's handheld right. Handheld devices. There you go. Thank you guys. You see, that's what I, great. Okay. Excellent. Handheld. Alison and Marcela. What was the word? Hand? Handheld. Held. Ah, held. Mm -hmm. The past of hold. Alrighty. Alison Marcela. Our definition is Mobile commerce refers to business or purchases conductor over mobile devices like cell phones or tablets handheld. Easy, right? Great. And the last one, Beatriz Eric or Morena. Okay, is M M commerce is a mobile electronic device that uses technology through a platform where you can Make purchases online. Where you can make purchases online. Purchases online. Mm -hmm. Do you guys agree? Yes. Yes. Yep. I agree. All right, great. So, guys, this is what we're going to do right now. Thank you very much. Does anybody have a question 
um, about this, about the definition of M-commerce. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Why am I using does anybody and not do anybody? Okay. What? Excuse me. Uh -huh. I'm even going to, because I want to see you all. Why am I using does anybody instead of do anybody? The third person. The third person, but why? Because indefinite pronouns normally are with third person. Why? Yes, but why? <laughs> because you don't know. Because the you are not referring people are going to someone. To answer the question. Exactly, because we, it is indefinite. We don't know if it's it, she, or he, or any of the new you know variations that we have today okay so thank you very much I, I didn't i didn't i didn't catch you off guard to catch someone off guard is con la guarda abajo en curva pues to catch someone mm -hmm. off guard to catch right. someone on guard of of o f f on on is like this right I'm ready for whatever is coming, not necessarily fighting, right? But off guard is like this. <laughs> right? That's the difference. Literally. Literally, that's right. Okay, so here, guys, let's go ahead and do this real quick so we can go to the speaking part. Read it with me. Building vocabulary. Building vocabulary. Building vocabulary. The U is not pronounced. Building. 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 How do you say um, construyendo? Building. 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 How do you say edificio? Building. 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 It is the same. The only thing that changes is the context, okay? Yes, building. I am building a building. Can I say that? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 you can. Great. So, say it with me, please. Match the expressions related to M commerce to the right descriptions. Uh -huh. Okay, compare your answers with a partner. Compare your answers with a partner. Great. Social media platforms. Social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Here. I wanted to pay attention to this. There are three, if I'm not mistaken, three pronunciation of the letter O. So shall. So. So shall. So shall. That's right. Social media platforms. So shall. All right, guys. Social media platforms. Help me with the definition of social media platforms, please. Let's do it as a group. The third one. They, they, Here? Uh, yeah, they enable the development, develop, uh, what it says, of oh, deployment and management of social media solutions and services. Mm -hmm. Do you guys agree? Agree. Yes. Okay, good. So let's go with the next one. I agree. It's going to be mobile or mo many people said mobile but i have heard people saying mobile mobile banking mobile mobile, mobile, banking. mobile banking mobile banking now pay attention to the pronunciation of the o it is not mobile it is mo mobile mo mobile uh -huh. mobile and that's why it is important for you to listen and repeat all right social Mobile. Social, 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 social mobile. mobile. That's right. So, mobile. fellas, what is the definition of this? So, which one? <laughs> First, second, <laughs> third, fourth, fifth, six. sixth, or seventh? Six. Oh, six. 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 Okay. Six. This one. You, do you guys agree? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I agree. Yes. All right. Yeah. Keep it in mind that some of these things might be coming mm -hmm. on the on the uh, homework. Next one, digital. 
Digital. Digital. Digital. Digital. Digital. Purchase this. Purchase this. Make it vibrant. Purchase this. Digital purchases. Digital purchases. Great. Which one? Digital purchases. First one. Yeah. Purchases for digital goods completed directly from within an e-shop. Okay, you guys agree? Yes, yes. I agree. Yes. Yes, I agree. All right, if someone does not agree, agree, speak now or be quiet forever. Okay, so next one, digital currencies. Digital, 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 digital currencies. Digital currencies. Yes, currencies. currencies. Digital currencies. currencies. Last one. Any yeah. means of payment yeah, that is number purely six. in electronic form. You guys agree? Yes. 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 All right, give me some examples of currencies, please. Uh, Crypto monedas. Yeah. Crypto monedas, uh huh. I mean, in general, not only uh, electronic form. No. What do we use? What is the currency we use in El Salvador? Dollar, dollar, American, American Euro. dollar, American right. dollar, euros, the euros. Euro. Uh -huh. Salvadorian colones. <laughs> <laughs> Salvadorian colones. What do they use in, in Costa Rica? Eh, eh, Costa Rica, colones, 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 colones. Nicaragua, eh, Córdoba, Córdoba. Yeah. That's right. The United Kingdom. Uh, libras Euro. esterlinas. Libras esterlinas. <laughs> and how do you say that in English? Pounds. Pounds. Uh, no. Pounds. Pounds. Oh. You can say it pounds. Sterling pounds? Mm, almost there. It's going to be no. GBP. It's going to be great. GBP. Great. Great Grand Britannian pounds. British. Great pounds. British. Mm, yeah. Great British. Great British. Great British. Pounds. What do they use in Canada? What is the currency? Canadian dollars. So listen, uh, whenever you're buying online, make sure that the dollars are American. Because if it says mm -hmm. CAD, you're going to have a bad time. Canadian dollar is actually cheaper than American dollars. Right? So this is just mm -hmm. details that I give you. Like, I don't know. I really hope that this is useful to you guys. It's just life. Next one, mobile ticketing. Mobile. 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 Ticketing. Ticketing. Mobile. Ticketing. Which one? The process where it's customers can pay tickets using mobile phones. 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 Um, you repeat the second one, it, the degree of which yes. an entity can be successfully moved from one domain to another. Yes. Yeah. Does I everybody agree? agree? Yeah. Yes. All right. And the last one, but last but not least, portability. No, no, no. Ubiquity. 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 The characteristic of a service that is available just about everywhere at all times. Okay, got it. So, guys, I'm going to send this to you. It might be useful. And um, give me a second. What is the currency from Peru? I really don't know. I'm seriously asking. Soles. 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 Ah, okay. Soles. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You enlightened me because I really didn't know. So, fellows, this is what we're going to do. We are going to be working, try to add a little tweak to this. You know what a tweak is? Tweak, like a little change, a little tweak, something that is making it unique, different, etc. So you're going to go online, online and find information about the birth of, e of M commerce and its evolution worldwide. Brainstorm on the milestones of the development of M-commerce in the country. Prepare a timeline to compare the development of M-commerce worldwide and in the country. So we're going to try to do it like 
as simple as you can. Do you know what is the, the, the meaning of timeline? Yeah. 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 Does anybody have a question with timeline? No. no? All right. So you're going to create a timeline and please, let's go ahead and focus on the birth, the evolution, what it is today, right? And uh, your predictions in the future. We're going to add a little tweak. So the birth, how it began, the evolution so far, and picture it in a couple of years from now. Like I said, try to do it as easy as you can, like this is a fourth grader um, homework. Any questions? So what, what does the timeline have to, uh, <clears throat> have to contain? The birth, birth. The birth. evolution, evolution. And how we future. predict. Uh -huh. How do you picture it or how do you foresee the evolution of M-commerce? But before that, do you know what is a milestone? Sorry? Do you know? Do you know what a milestone is? No. No. Milestone. Like, uh, something important that has happened in uh, in some subject. Uh -huh. and... You're 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 going there. You're going there. It's something that is pretty much marking. Have you mm -hmm. ever seen this in the road, on the road? Yeah. <laughs> so these are milestones. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. you're not gonna you're not gonna have a piece of cement uh, on top of something, right? Yeah. But it pretty much tell you where you are or, or important things. Okay, so you can keep it in mind, guys. This is just random information I'm giving you. Go ahead and accept it. You got ten minutes. We we'll see you at nine forty-five. Go, please. Ah, bye. Entonces, yes, aquí sorry. está. Okay. First. Yeah, no, 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 just no, wait me one second, it is... Wait for me. Wait for me. Mm -hmm. I have this. This is the continuation, this is the continuation of the other uh, image. Um, screenshot, uh, screenshot. Screenshot, yes. Well, maybe the first one, Sara. The first one. Okay, this is the, the second one, but if you want, I'm going to share the first one. Because I think that the first one has the year when the... Yes, yes, has the year. Um, M-commerce began, open, yeah. Began, began, I guess. Begin, began, began. Dios mío, ¿por qué no me lo da? Vamos a ver. Aquí está. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, it's here. Here. Yeah. From 19? The, from 1990s, it and come. No, yeah. And, and who's going to make the, the time lifeline? Teacher, we have to do a time lifeline. A timeline, that's right. <clears throat> yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to present. Yes. Uh, like you said, oh, I forgot to mention this. <laughs> like no more than three minutes for Tim. Okay. So real quick, one of you can talk about the, the beginnings, the other one about the evolution, and the evolution. other one about the forecast, but bam. Okay. Easy thing, like for greater presentation. I'm going to let them know. Thank you for that. Okay. Hey guys, um, sorry for the inter uh, to interrupt. Let me tell you that the presentation cannot take more than three minutes, as you know, because we have to finish exactly at 10. Okay. All right. 
one of you can talk about the evolution, the other one about the beginnings, and the other one about the forecast to give you a, an, an idea. All right, any question, raise your hand and I'll visit your breakout room. Okay. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Hey. <laughs> ah, I scare you, right? So, um, hey, I forgot to mention the presentation cannot take more than three minutes. Pretend this is fourth grade and you got to present in front of your classmates. Uh, I mean, it's only the two of you, so you got to split the work. See you at 9. We are going to focus on El Salvador or in general? Uh, you can talk about... In general? <laughs> we, can have it in, we can have it in El Salvador. Or in okay. general. It's up to you. But make okay. sure that you make emphasis at the beginning. I'll leave it up to okay. you. Thank you. Keep it up. Right. Any question, you raise your hand and I'll be back. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. It begins. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry for the interruption. I hope I didn't scare anybody. Remember, the, the presentation shouldn't take more than three minutes. Make like a fourth grader thing, something easy. Uh, one of you can talk about the evolution, the other one at the beginning, and the other one about the, four, the, like the prediction, okay? Keep it um, the one with the bear. Okay. In the right order, yeah, because I said it all backwards. Ah. Nah, don't worry. <laughs> all right. Okay. Any question, you let me know. Okay. Thank you. Um. Hey, hey, guys. Um, I forgot to mention something. Presentation cannot take more than three minutes. We got to finish by 10 sharp. Sharp is like in punto, right? And... Uh, Keep it simple, like a fourth grader presentation. Someone can talk about the beginning, some, some other can talk about the evolution, and some other can talk about the prediction. Mm, we have to talk about the, 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 the bear. Mm -hmm. And then we have to talk about the evolution in. And what you think is gonna be in the future. Okay. Mm -hmm. But like I said, keep it simple, like a fourth grader uh, presentation. Okay. You, got, you got five minutes. Okay, guys, give me a second. Union. <laughs> okay, este, if I, I want that you can read about this because this is the, the most easy, the easiest way the easiest. to the easiest way to know about this okay prediction about e-commerce about m commerce <laughs> Just give me one second. <laughs> How are you doing, guys? Try to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep it simple, you know, as simple as possible. Yeah. I know. Fine. Yeah, Let's struggle with this. I don't know if you, I'm going to. There's some method. Or... There's a method that talks about kiss, kiss method. Keep it short and simple. Mm -hmm. Or make it up. I mean, you don't really have to give me like a lot of facts. I just gave you 10 minutes, obviously. I do not expect a masterpiece. So I understand. Just make sure you don't stay quiet for those three minutes. Okay. Uh, uh, Eric. Or Ernesto. Ernesto. Have to leave to, to work. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know he's, he's, he has that issue. Now, I'm going to give you a tip. Even though you didn't finish with the group, pretend you did. And be confident about what you're going to say. If you're going to mess up, you're going to mess up with honor. <laughs> with honor. <laughs> That's right. 
I mean, obviously, don't 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 talk about goofy things, right? But just give your opinion, like a like any Salvadorian would. Keep it up. And back in the days, like um, iPhone was like the top top branding in the world, but now the Chinese brands are more more developed than than Apple. Yeah, and I think it's because Apple has all the services through an app, right? I mean, I think that there are cases it's not, it's not necessary that people uh, go to an agency or to a physical store because everything they can buy, they can find it or they can verify it through an app. Yeah, that's true. And then we're going to use 2012, and then? After 2006, we are gonna use 2012. 30 seconds. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, bye, guys. Uh, thank you very much. You are back. Hey, I just want to mention something. I got to take attendance, and then I'm going to mention something else. Give me a second. So, Ana Maria Mazoquins Rivera, not present. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Cordova, not present. Amy Rosa, Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios, not present. David Orlando Nerio, not present. Yeah, Abner is here. Celia is here. And that's it. Okay, so guys, I only gave you 10 minutes. So I do not expect a masterpiece. I expect your... I expect for something, you know, decent, your opinion, most of it, it cannot be more than three minutes. And if you're gonna fall, do it with honor. All right? So let's get the first one. Daniel and Roxana. Nothing personal, you're just group number one. All right? So And Sara too, teacher. Are you here, Sara? Oh, there she is. She's yeah. coming back and forth. Okay, time's running. Go. Go. Yeah, that is going to begin. Sorry, I I log out in this moment, and I and don't worry, I don't worry, don't worry. Time's running. No apologies. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the M commerce is the most is is the easiest uh, way to buy. Because many people has a mobile, uh -huh. and if you can, uh, you can have a tablet or a cell phone, and it begins um, begins began when when oh when began from uh, no sorry began at the nineties and In the it 90s. was. In the 90s, mm -hmm. that was uh, after e-commerce because e-commerce start or began at seven. Then uh, we can know that e-commerce uh, is refers refers just to the process to buying and selling products and service with your internet and cellular. No, ma no, no wireless. No, wired. Sorry, sorry. Wireless. One and minute thirty. Handheld. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, Roxana is going to talk about you the evolution. Okay. Yes. Um, about the evolution of the e-commerce, smartphones have been around for a while, but most 
websites were not mobile optimizer, opti opti optimized, uh, but everything is changed right now. And we have a better smartphones and we have a better websites. Okay, 50 seconds. Daniel? Okay, in my case, uh, uh, mobile cameras is expected to account for 34.5% of percent. total cameras. Percent? Percent. Percent of total e-commerce sales this year. Mm -hmm. And it's further anticipated to surpass surpass 50% by 2021. Okay. According to e-marketers, marketers, mobile commerce roundup, a compilation of present sectors, studies, and articles. Right on time, three minutes. Thank you very much, guys. Like I said, you did a great job. It's about very acceptable for 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and move forward. I know you are under pressure, but hey, that's how it's supposed to be. Aldo and Jay-Z, Rocket, three minutes, go. Or two minutes, I can give you two because you're only two, go. Time's running, JC and Aldo. Yes. Okay. Okay. Aldo. Okay. Uh, the incomers, as we already know, they they start at the end of nineties. Of the nineties. And uh, they were struggling with the technology because in that era we don't have a a good internet, a good uh, phones, or and something like that. And we went, when we get to the 2000s, mm -hmm. the the technology uh, increase and uh, develop the develop of the the technology were better. So was they better. was better, and that allowed allows to improve the commercial the commercial sellings and purchasings. Purchasing, okay. For example, the e-commerce is to increase the sell the big store and the department store. Uh, for example, the Black Friday in 2017 uh, to increase to 29 to 40, a percent in sales. Uh, right now is a, a useful uh, application with anything. And this uh, this e-commerce is uh, how do you say que va a la par? It goes hand by hand with is by hand by hand with the advertising because okay. to complete the old work. Okay. Thank you very much. Very acceptable. Thank you, JC and uh, um, Aldo. Guys, do you feel nervous when I when we are working with less time? Yes? Totally. totally? Okay. Yes. Welcome to life. That's how it's supposed to be. Andrea, Celia, and Karen. Rocket. Well, Andrea and... and and Celia, and go. Celia. you got yeah. two minutes if you want, go. Okay, so we are going to start with the beginnings of uh, e-commerce and we mm -hmm. have that in 90, 1997. Uh, was the year in which the, I mean that term uh, was used uh, for the first time. Then uh, on the same year we have that um, Someone launched, launched the first phone-based um, banking service in Finland. So that was a big impact. Then um, with the 2000, we yeah. have that some services started like mm -hmm. PayPal. And uh, oh. we noticed uh, that Apple has like, uh, had like a 
a little bit impact in, in America. Uh, when they launched the first iPhone and the App Store. Uh, then uh, we have that Google also started to use this kind of services, started to use this kind of service. And um, also, as I mentioned before, Apple appears in, appearing in many years, uh, launching different kind of um, products by e-commerce and Andrea is going to continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so nowadays we consider that uh, it's a useful way to do purchases and we think that has become like more important because uh, all the conditions around the world and consequences uh, in consequence of COVID. So we think that it projects to be like the main way to do, to, to buy things. And it's already happening in some places in the US where some shops have gone like bankrupt uh, because has, new generations has gone, bankruptcy. has gone, sorry, has gone bankrupt uh, because new, new generations prefers to buy things online uh, than going to the malls. Okay. So that's all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Pretty acceptable. Guys, I understand you're going to be nervous and that's, that's actually fine. It's normal. Thank you, girls. Abner, Alison, Marcela. Okay, uh, we have the, the third of e-commerce. Was originated in 1996 by Kevin Duffy at the launch of the Global Mobile Commerce Forum to mean delivering e-commerce capabilities directly to the customers and anywhere via wireless technology. And as you know, and nowadays, this uh, this has been a uh, like a good way of selling things because seventies. What? The seventies. Seventies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We now have all the electronic devices mm -hmm. so used to so we are able to buy a lot of things with them. All right. So the, the evolution, um, we found that uh, the e-commerce has been increasing in the last years because now it's more um, common to people to have cell phones. Uh, a lot of people just so um, the, this, the use of, of mobile devices to make purchases uh, has been increasing and now uh, more people is buying by their cell phone or tablet and, and it seems like it's going to be increasing a little bit more um, in the documents that we found it says that by this year um, uh, the how do you say majority the majority it depends the majority or most people most people um, were going were, are were going. <laughs> are going to use uh, this e-commerce that that people prefers it. Okay, all right, fifty seconds. Okay, uh, continuing the explanation of my partners, uh, the e-commerce is is increasing. Uh, every day because uh, uh, more, more people are, 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 are trying to, to use the e-commerce. Uh, for example, nowadays during the lockdown, uh, the, the, the consumers that was using the e-commerce increased uh, around, around 20%, 20% compared to uh, the last year. Uh, I think that the, the future of e-commerce uh, will be more increasing. Well, it will increase. It will increase, okay. Okay, all right. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Last okay. but not least, Beatriz, Eric, and Morena. And uh, the mobile commerce, um... 
uh, just uh, it it born in 1997 uh, with Kevin Duffy, the director of Group Telecom of Logica. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, in February 1997, uh, he made uh, the several definitions have been suggested for M commerce, mm -hmm. the dollar dollar mobile commerce report. Uh, define uh, um, the e-commerce as any transactions with monetary val value that is value. conducted. Value. Value. The I lost. <laughs> <laughs> in in e-commerce, e-commerce as any transaction with monetary value that is conducted by by a mobile. Next. Okay. One minute forty. So, in two thousand seven, the iPhone launched and changed all the life on mobiles. Mm -hmm. In two thousand eight, in e-commerce increases, and e-commerce use usage uh, because you, the old technologies and mobiles use more applications to uh, save your money or buy online in your cell phone. In 2011, they appeared the Google Wallet. And Google Wallet appeared. Uh, Google Wallet appeared. Mm -hmm. In 2012, uh, increased a lot of uh, sales and offers. And now, Eric. Okay. Okay, now. This is more than a personal opinion than a technical survey. So what I can Sorry. say about e-commerce is that, as when my partner have been said before, 20% uh, percent has been uh, increased back in the years. But this is has to be, uh, I guess, according to the use of people do with uh, cell phones. Mm -hmm. Also, I, as far as I know, there is a company that has a, a goal around the world, which is uh, brings internet around the world. So in my opinion, e-commerce in the next 10 years, uh, almost uh, more than uh, 50 people of, in the global world uh, would be able to share, to sell or buy something by e-commerce. Okay, all right. So guys, thank you very much. Um, I just wanna say something like this. Um, siempre me gusta ponerlos en la lupa. Ok, prácticamente parte de inglés, yo sé que cada quien tiene su carácter, cada quien tiene su manera de ser, pero literalmente la vida nos va a poner muchas veces contra las cuerdas. Y por eso es que a mí me gusta un poco, sí, no, no es que lo disfrute, como <risa> qué malo, sino que me gusta exponerlos a eso porque nos va a pasar. Nos salimos un poquito de nuestra zona de confort y ahí es donde la verdad nos va mal. Entonces... Obviamente puede que con los idiomas sea una cosa, en otra área sea diferente. Así que sigan haciendo, expónganse cuando puedan a cosas que los saquen de su, de, su, de su zona de confort, que sean challenging, ¿ok? Cosas que sí les quiero decir así super quick eh, para terminar la clase, guys, es lo siguiente. Ahorita en intermedio 5, y estoy hablando en general, en intermedio 5 ya todos tendremos que saber manejar absolutamente todas las estructuras. Estoy notando que no se están ocupando cuando se tiene que hacer. Estamos teniendo un poquito de issues con el pasado, que eso es más súper común. Y la pronunciación, los ending sounds, son los que tienen que mejorar bastante. Conjugación de los, tie de los verbos, usar los, los, los tiempos gramaticales cuando tienen que ser y sonidos finales. Esas tres cosas las tenemos que atacar. Pero, teacher, eso no nos lo van a enseñar. Proactividad. Ya les pasé la, la página ego for You. Eh, hay un montón de websites que ustedes se pueden meter al grammar. Échenle un vistazo y literalmente pónganse grammar exercises. Simple present exercises. Váyase con los simples primero. Present, past, and future. Solo tenemos eso. Future tiene going to, I will. Eso es otra cosa. Luego, pásense los continuos. Que es presente continuo, pasado continuo y futuro continuo. De ahí pásense los perfectos. Presente, perfecto. Pasado, perfecto. 
futuro, perfecto. Y luego pásense a los perfectos continuos. Presente, perfecto, continuo. Pasado, perfecto, continuo. Futuro, perfecto, continuo. So, la cosa es esta. Tienen que poder dominar todas las estructuras gramaticales. ¿Cómo lo hacen eso? Práctica. All right? No hay de otra. Si no quieren después tener dificultades, así como las tuvimos en Reported Speech, pasamos de, simple, de presente simple a pasado simple. Esa es toda la indicación. Híjole, ¿y cuál es el presente simple? Y el pasado, ahí es donde nos cae el, el hachazo. Así que es de ustedes reforzarlo. ¿Cómo van a mejorar la, la pronunciación? Eh, los ending sounds, como lo hago en todas las clases. Play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat. So guys, that's all for today. Uh, I already have uh, Celia, who's going to be for the next 10 minutes with me. And... Uh, If you want to be, if you want to have those 10 minutes by tomorrow, then let me know in advance. Thank you very much for doing your best. Thank you on behalf of English Corporativo. And Alejandro Narbona, ya saben cómo me despido con cariño. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Yeah. Bye. Good night. Bye. bye, 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 bye. All right. So, Celia, tell me, from um, 10.05 to 10.15. Okay. Uh, my, my question, I mean, my questions, because there are some questions <laughs> that I have I related with the platform. Uh, I don't know why mm -hmm. um, on some exercise I cannot get the right answer. Which one? Uh, let me see. And unit two, it's um, on the exercise that we, and that's why I'm, I don't have completed. I mean, with 100. I haven't completed it. Uh, I haven't <laughs> completed it. That because uh, I think that the, the answer is it correct, but I don't know why. System. I mean, the platform is not taking okay, it. Okay, so I'm loading it right now. Mm -hmm. And also with the midterm, I have some of them that is not taking it. Okay, give me just a second because it, it took me out. Just a minute. Okay. Me sacó. Give me a second, please. I'm sorry. So I'm going to try to log in. It kicked me out. Okay, now I have access. So you said uh, unit two, right? Yeah, unit two. Mm -hmm. uh, on extra, on the homework, on the last homework. All right, I'll be there in a second. Yeah, and it's about reported speech. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'll help you out right now. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be so 2.14. Yeah. All right. So we had some issues with this. Mm -hmm. And and it's supposed that they already fix it, mm -hmm. but I don't know why excerpts. I mean, the the sentence number three and the number five, I cannot get it. I'll check that right now. I don't know why, and I think that I'm I'm typing the wrong the the right answer. All right, do me a favor. Go ahead and type in the answers. You are you are, type it right now in the chat or in, in WhatsApp the one you want. Oh, If you want here okay. in, in the chat here. Of, uh, yeah, of, that uh, makes sense. Chat. Uh, so, three and five, it. you said, right? Um, but yeah, she. Okay, number three, I have it here. Let me see if in the what I'm in the, no, it's without the dot. This one is the number three. She told me she hadn't gone to the party. Did you copy paste it? Um, I'm using the cell phone right now. Because that is correct, she told me. She hadn't gone. 
yeah, that that answer is registered as one of the possible answers, and you got it correct. And the 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 other one is this one. Nah, but it is correct. But I don't know why I, it it doesn't take it. Okay. And I noticed I noticed that after they the the technician said that mm -hmm. they fix it. Try this one because I think it's the same. It, it's me. the same, but I don't know why it's not taking it. Copy. Do me a favor, copy paste, copy paste this one. You just, just copy, copy paste. Uh -huh. Copy paste it. The one I sent to you. Okay. You can also include that. So some some answers may take it. Did, did you put it with the last? No, it's the same. The same? All right, try the next yeah. one. What is the next one? The one that we would? No, no, I got it. Uh, I wrote it with that. Oh. But just make sure you copy paste everything. No empty spaces before the S and no extra spaces after the period. Oh, doesn't have spaces. It doesn't have any extra space. I already tried. And it doesn't have any extra space. And I try in both ways with that and with and without that. And I noticed that everybody uh, fixed it. I mean, for everybody it works, but not for me. Yeah, because if it, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to report it. And the same with the last one, with number five. I think that it's the correct answer. Also, I verify with the ones that uh, okay, the partners try. were sharing on the WhatsApp group. Try this one, Celia. She didn't, but but why didn't? Give it a try. See if it goes through. It should be hadn't. No, but it's not taking it. Okay. Or let me see without that on that case. No. No. It's okay. Not so I will okay. report it. You are having issues with. Uh, Okay, let me do it right now as we speak. Yeah, those are those are the same exercise that that you uh, mm -hmm. were already reported because everybody has the same issue. But then they said that they already fixed it, but for me it was not working and it's not working yet. This is still not working. And the same happened with the last one with number five, and also. Um, that's why I cannot, I mean, okay. I haven't completed unit number two. And the same happened with the midterm. Okay. It's, it's only one exercise that is not. And I already um, do the other homeworks for the, for this last, um unit and also do the the final exam i don't know if it is correct but i already yeah, did fine. it <laughs> and um i had the same problem with some but maybe that can be a general issue that's what i'm trying do what we are when we will do it we are going to verify it but with the midterm and with the last exercise on unit two I mean, I want to tell you because everybody yeah. has completed. But you. Unless me. <laughs> okay, so I am reporting. Um, so tell me what you have in, in exercise five. Uh, in exercise, I already sent it to you, I think. 
in the chat. I already moved to the other one. Uh huh. Because I am actually working, uh, recording one by one. Otherwise, they, they might not oh, take it. The other one I had, she said she wouldn't see me tomorrow. Okay, I'm trying to do everything, a couple of things at the same time, sorry. Yeah. I'm switching back and forth. I mean, by the way, I tried to do it on the PC. I also mm -hmm. tried to copy the, the answers that some partners were sending through WhatsApp. And I tried mm -hmm. to type it or paste it on the mobile app because I have, I, I have downloaded the, the mobile app. Mm -hmm. And even in the mobile app, it doesn't work. I don't know why. All right, try try the ones that I sent you on exercise five. Like I said, otherwise I'm gonna have to, to record it as well. Let, let's okay. check one by one, so so you can have the right or the opportunity to get that 100% you're looking for. Yeah, because only for those sentences, and and I think that it's the correct answer, but I don't know why they are not working. And it's um, it's like worried because I noticed that everybody gets the wrong the, the right answer. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, and but the, not the me. answer uh -huh. the answer that you are sending on exercise five is correct. So that's so make right. sure and, that and, you write and, down and, uh, the period. Also, Aldo mentioned that 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 mm -hmm. if I try in one way, in another one, and one, and I said, yeah, I already tried in many ways, also on the PC, okay. on the app, and it's not working. I so number why. five is not working either with the ones that I sent you. Let me see, I'm gonna try that. No, it's just uh, not working. No. Okay, so in that case, it might be- It, it has the, the, the period at the end? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me see because I didn't add the period. Mm -hmm. No, but it's just still not working. Okay. okay. The the second she has okay. capital letter, maybe the <laughs> but I already tried with many ways. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, so, so I don't know. At, at the beginning I, I was thinking that maybe it could be the the right right there. I don't know how to say that. I forgot. The what? The coma? No, el otro, el de arribita. Uh, quotation con el que mark? hacemos las con el con el que hacemos las contractions. Apostrophe? Es. Oh, okay. I was thinking that maybe it could be that, uh, but I, as I mentioned, you already tried on the app too, okay. and, and it's still not working. All right, so uh, let me let me send them all. Which is the uh, the one the issue that you have in the midterm? On the midterm, <clears throat> it's the same one, uh, but only with one. That Where? is only with one sentence. Which one? The part last on the last on the last part. Part four. Yeah, part four. All right. I think that it's reported a speech too. Okay, so I'm loading it part four exercise. Which one? So maybe, I was thinking that maybe I was wrong or maybe I was putting something wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Or maybe I didn't understand, but no. Are you having issues with both of them? Yeah. He works and we went? How? Because at the end, we have reported speech and we only have two. We have, he works in the bank, she said. And oh, we, no, we only with was... number five. He okay. went with the same, it's <clears throat> similar to the, to the other example. In that case, at the beginning, I was put in run because mm -hmm. I, I didn't understand why they changed last night, but the night before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try this one. And and I didn't I didn't do it in that way. I mean I, I was typing on like yeah. that, like the one that you sent. But exactly Amy, the same? Yeah, exactly that one. But then okay. Amy said that the correct answer um was let me let me read it. She told me without that they had gone the gone out the night before. And so I didn't is, understand. Is it exactly the, the same way? It's, it, it's not on the night before. Last night. Try last night. See if it works. Okay. 
the one I sent it to you already. Okay. Try to copy paste. See if it works. Okay. I have it ready to send in case it doesn't work. No, but it's still not working. Okay. But yeah. it's with day, right? Yes. Okay, now I got it. Okay, so let me eliminate that one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now I got it. Oh, I can only eliminate it for me. Let me see. Yeah, because now I got it. But but why they said that the night before was the right answer and that they have it in that way? Mm, not sure why they changed it. I wouldn't have changed it, but that's the one that they have. Because now. they even posted on the WhatsApp group and mm -hmm. some of the other partners were just like copy and paste it and they said it's correct and i tried in that way but i i i, I didn't really understand why they changed uh it's just a different compliment i don't know why they changed it either but it's correct to do that it's just yeah. another way of saying it, it has the same meaning it's another way mm -hmm. all right so okay. i have already reported 2.14 both of them uh midterm is fixed yeah, midterm is fixed. Let me see uh -huh. if it is and already updated on the progress. Uh, let me see because it says, oh yeah, it's already updated. All right. Do you have Only any other though, one that is giving you issues? The one that we already verify only on section two. The other mm -hmm. ones are on the final exam, but maybe nobody else. <laughs> <do that. laughs> okay, no worries. So for the final exam, um, yeah, because if we already covered that topic, then yes, send it to me. Or anyway, say, look, I think it's this answer and I just want to double check it. Why is it not correct? And I can help you out. So uh, what I would recommend you to do is for you to send me the screenshot, but be specific. So, for example, in the final, I am having issues in part one. This is the exercise and this is my answer. Remember, I'm not just going to give you the answer. I'm going to mm -hmm. check. And I'm going to try to guide you on how to fix it. If it's an issue related to the platform, then I'll go ahead and report it the mm -hmm. same way I did right now. Yeah. By the way, it's with a topic that we already covered. Our top okay. question. <laughs> ah, top question. Uh -huh. All right. So send them to me. I'm going to go ahead and review them. But send me the answer yeah. too. Send me a screenshot. And yeah, no problem. If you want, send them right now. If you have time after, after we hang up with this, uh, after we finish okay. the session. Oh, and it's it's a little bit confused because um, Confusing. those exercises are the same that we already complete on the platform, but on the section. Uh -huh. And on that section, I get the right answer, but on the final exam, no. So um, okay. I don't know. If, and I just copy paste the same answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if you're just using technological resources to avoid typing, I understand. Um, <laughs> It's, it's, it's a difficult, it's a little bit difficult to me type the apostrophe because the, the, the keyboard, I mean, gives me another thing, not the, the normal apostrophe. Yeah. So I have to copy from the exercise and paste it and then modify the answer. I don't know if that can be affecting me. I don't think so. So. I don't think so. Because it, it just registers what you're inputting, not mm -hmm. how you're inputting. Not if it's typed or copy paste. Yeah. So yeah, uh, go ahead and send them to me, Celia. And like I said, I mean, I appreciate your um, your dedication, your interest in finishing this uh, properly. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna be waiting for you to send me those messages so I can help you. Yes, sometimes mm -hmm. the platform has some mistakes that, mm -hmm. luckily, we have <laughs> tech support to fix. Yeah. So I'm gonna right. send you the screenshot. Okay, oh, okay. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that right now. As, as Right after we yeah. finish. I'm going to send you the, I mean, the part of the final exam. Okay, that's fine. And show mm -hmm. me the answer as well. So I can yeah. see what's okay. going on. Okay. All right, Thank, you. Thank you very much for your interest. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. See ya. Bye. Bye. -bye.